Good afternoon from Texas. My family and I have been enjoying a great vacation down here for the last few days, visiting with some of our family. And yesterday, we were able to visit the Alamo. What a neat place that is. While we were at the Alamo, we learned that, you know, a few hundred Texas soldiers were able to withstand attacks for, for several days from several thousand Mexican soldiers during the battle for Texas independence. And all of the people inside of the Alamo, uh, all the soldiers anyway, including Davy Crockett, an East Tennessean, uh, all passed away at the Battle of the Alamo as, as they were defeated, they were overtaken. But shortly after that battle, shortly after that battle, the, the, the war for Texas independence didn't stop. And Sam Houston was able to uh, surprise Santa Ana and his army and win Texas independence. And as they were fighting that final battle, one of the things the soldiers kept yelling was remember the Alamo. Remember the bloodshed at the Alamo. Remember what happened at the Alamo. Remember all those brave soldiers who gave their life for the Texas for Texas's independence. And when you drive by and you go and you walk inside and look at the Alamo today, you can still remember the Alamo and remember that sacrifice and remember what happened there. And it's very inspiring. And it reminds me of something I read about in Joshua chapter 4. After the children of Israel had crossed the Jordan, Joshua told them to, to erect an altar with 12 stones. And he tells them the reason. It says in verse 21, Then he spoke to the children of Israel, saying, When your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What are these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel crossed over this Jordan on dry land. To remember this amazing thing that happened. You know, it was really neat for me to take my children to the Alamo this week, to show them what had happened there and to explain this great event that happened at the Alamo, to explain to them about the sacrifices made at the Alamo and this great story of what happened there. Those stones are still there for our memory. We look at Joshua and what he said about these stones. When you pass by these stones, let it be a memory that God helped us to cross over the Jordan River. You know, there's a lot of stones that we erect in our life. There's a pile of stones I know at 2722 East Oakland Avenue in Johnson City that we call the church. When we pass by that pile of stones, what do we tell our children it's all about? That's all about Jesus and the sacrifice that he made for us. And we go there to celebrate that wonderful sacrifice. That pile of stones represents a whole lot of people who love their community, who love, their, who love each other, and who love their God. That's what that pile of stones means. We'd love for you to be a pile to be a part of that pile of stones and what it represents. And if you're not, we'd love to talk to you about that. I love you all. Have a great week.